Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey there guys, so I'm back with episode 10 of series 2 of Dying Fury Loser Sweepers and I'm almost there. One more episode after this review. This episode is a very simple story but yet it has a nice charming feel to it. It really starts off with Izzy and Ivan, they ride their bikes, they have a race, uh, but somehow like, like Ivan bumps into Izzy's bicycle at the back and she crash lands, not drastically, dramatically. Uh, they come across an old vehicle that belonged to an army base years ago in Pinewood. I think it's Pinewood, I don't really know the town. I kind of love the interest in cities and towns where Power Rangers are. They come across an old vehicle, it has a whole suitcase of cash. But due to the fact that um, Ivan and Izzy had a bit of an argument, like, oh, that was on purpose, no, it was an incident, you ruined my bike, blah, blah, blah. Ivan selfishly uses the cash to go out and spend stuff in public. In the end, he realizes friends make you happy and so money. And Pop Up is in this episode. Uh, why? I, I just don't know why. So he, re he comes to his senses. He's got to share his stuff that he's brought with people around him. That was very sweet. And by the end of the episode, Ivan and Izzy make up and they go out riding their bikes again. We also get to see uh, Dragnarok's sister, Flapnarok, which is basically uh, Dragnarok with a different paint job. <laughs> but also, due to the early events, the army base had this necklace which allows Void Queen monsters to grow big without any kind of like sorcery or anything like that. But I don't think the monsters had an issue growing big anyway, like they used to back in the old Power Ranger seasons, like they had to car had to cast a spell or they needed a, a magic potion or they just needed to rip uh, a patch off. No, they don't really do that stuff anymore. But the, uh, once again, due to Flapnerok, he can easily take down the other, uh, the other Megazords, even the Ultrasords combinations. By the end, uh, Solon comes to her senses and there is one more form formation that we haven't tried yet but you're not going to like it, Sato. And I love this moment when Sato's like the primal ultra sword. But due to the fact, because the original Dino Fury Rangers used that combination, it was so powerful, they basically almost destroyed the Earth, but also almost destroyed, uh, well, it kind of killed the other four Rangers. And um, But the, luckily they somehow uh, used it wisely they don't have any issues anymore and we get to see the Primal Ultra Sword, which I've got to say is a very nice Ultra Sword combination. And I believe, even though I haven't seen Rue Soldier, I believe this is the last Megazord formation. I don't think we're going to see any more Megazords or any new swords or any new combinations because, unless we are, I don't really know. I really don't know. I like to be surprised. But overall, Loser Weepers, it's not bad. But it's not great, it's nothing memorable apart from the whole introducing the whole new um, the Primal Ultra Sword combination, which I really liked. And I like the fact that I wish there was more of a story about Sato saying, look, I don't really want to use this sword combination, I think it's way too dangerous, he doesn't want to make the same mistakes. I wish that went a bit more further, but if I had to give this episode out of five, I think I'm going to give it a three. It's a really fine episode, but I cannot wait to see what they do in the next episode, which is a very interesting what they did.